Hello, hello, hello. Some lunar eclipse message. Are you feeling the energy? What's going on with you? How are you doing? So we're hopping on just a, a minute early because we wanted to see if we're having any tech difficulties um, because we got some new devices over here. Yes, we did. And everything was kind of crooked when I set it up before. So let me know if you guys are seeing us in the camera straight. Right, or if we're sideways, if we're having any problems. Hi, Jesse. Um, How do I look? How do I look? I can know. Jesse, Rin, what's up, baby? Hi. Dawn, I love you, Dawn. Nice to see you guys. Hi, mom. So as I said before, if one of you guys can let me know if there's any, if you're seeing us sideways or anything is weird, otherwise hey, just Kim. give me a thumbs up. What's up, Nicole? Yes to yay. So so happy to see you guys. I know a lot of you were saying that you would absolutely um, like to see us. Um, yay! You're off of work and you can join Sweet us live. Rose, you are here, girl. You are present. We're all freaking alive right now. Woo! I know. I'm so so excited to see you guys. Oh, I love you. I love you too. Um, yes, it's perfect timing. I'm really really happy. I'm really happy to see you guys. Thank you. Um, it is an important day. The energy was. I don't know if you know all of you guys are not all in. North America, so maybe some of you guys did not actually see the eclipse, the lunar eclipse, but I know you're definitely feeling it. Um, but it also has so much beauty. Hey, Kelly, hey, how's it up, going? Ke Carmen, what's um, up, baby? Jennifer, hey, I miss you. Jenna, I miss you like um, Craig. Yeah, so it's really good though to be able to Hi, Rachel. feel some of the shift in the energy, and I want to talk about freedom, some of that. baby, freedom. So really, really cool to see you guys. Love to see you. Yes. Happy hey, freedom. Um, Corey, hi, hi. hi okay, Diane. so. We're gonna jump in with you guys, and um, for any of you guys that are new to us and have not been to our channel before, have not seen one of our videos, let me just introduce myself. I'm Dove. I'm Nicole. Um, and we are a twin flame couple. We're also conscious mentors, um, motivational speakers, transformational uh, healers and mentors, really helping people move out of their blocks, whatever's going on for you, from a core uh, method, core wound perspective, really being able to go in there and not treat symptoms. Um, and what we wanted to hop on and be with you guys today to talk about is this lunar eclipse energy and also this kind of last chapter of this year. Um, I say this year because I feel that this month has also been kind of the tying up of 2018. Um, so when I say that, that's what I mean. Um, and today I was sitting uh, with Nicole and I was sitting in a bit of meditation. We're doing some of our own work because as many of you guys know and some of you don't, right? Everything that we ask of you, ask of our clients, ask of our community members, um, ask of you know the world we are doing tenfold for ourselves. so today we were sitting in a lot of work doing a lot of transformation on ourselves and one thing that i felt really come through that i wanted to share with you guys um is that i was thinking about this lunar eclipse energy actually i was channeling i was in a space where i was just receiving information doing some work for us and i saw how the earth right being in the center space between the moon and the sun and kind of the earth causing the shadow, I immediately felt, get out of your way, you're causing the shadow. Oof. Like, get out of your way, you're causing the shadow for what you want to experience. Yes. And right, and I can feel it, I have the chills as you guys are hearing that <laughs> oh, and receiving that. My um, happy New Year's, Kelly. Right, and, and as you guys are going through, I'm feeling it all over my body, so it's shifting, shifting, shifting for you guys as you're hearing it, shifting. Woo! And really understanding, like, there's the light behind us, Right? That's how I saw it. I was standing there and I felt the light shining on my back, right? Solar light, central sun, but also, right, the analogy of our light, our light, our purpose, our expansion, our fullness, <laughs> what we want. Because this lunar eclipse is also this a magic, magic moment where we're able to be in this place of, and so is this year. This is the year of abundance. And now we're in this lunar yes. eclipse energy and it's like, hey, claim your throne, like claim your yes. abundant self, claim your big self, claim your, um, your service. Your, your place, your platform, your uh, fame, if that's what you guys are gonna create in your lives, whatever is going on for you, right? From a micro to macro, whatever your vision is, but stepping into that and claiming it and really allowing yourself to turn and face that light, that light that's you, yes. turn and face that sun, right? And realize that as we pivot and transition out of this energy that's going, no longer standing and being <laughs> the thing, right? So your ego, your, your fears, your beliefs, your personality, your old wounds, your old ideas, no longer being that energy that's standing in the way of that and being able to then be able to move into decision together as we're doing right now. What? <laughs> like, woo-cha, dumb. Oh my God, I love 
when she brings it. My wife uh, took me through a process today. I was, whoo, there was some deep purging going on and I was resisting because it felt like I was gonna, like I felt like I was gonna freak out. It was so hard. So some of you are going through, I keep hearing ancient wounds, Aww. like ancient wounds, like past life, past, past, past from the beginning that you're going through and you're cleansing and you're purging, yeah. you're having to feel and some of you don't even know why you're feeling it and you're getting headaches and you're getting dizzy because you're detoxing this ancient wounds, these separations from you and all things, the idea that you are not perfect just the way you are, the idea yes. that something's missing, that something's wrong with you, that you're different than other people, all this stuff is starting to come up and so this was coming up within me today and I was like, my body was just like resisting. I could feel my whole being wanting to run. I told her if I feel like if you go in there, I feel like if we go there, I'm gonna like maybe like break down and wreck the house because that's how painful it was. And I started to share and all of a sudden she just, she pulled out one negative thought form that I had about something that I thought I deserved that wasn't really good for me. And she started to speak to that negative thought form and my wife went in there and she did some surgery. So, so what I want to do with you guys is I want to, let's do some surgery. So what I want to do is I do want to do some energy work and I do want to do some channeling. And so you can give me permission to be in your energy. And if you're not in the mood for that right now and you're like, Hey Nick, I just want to listen and I don't really want you in my energy because I'm not really sure what the hell that means. Then you don't have to let me in. And all I'm saying by letting me in is that, that we're going to commune right now energetically and connect energetically to where as we are speaking and as Dove and I are talking, that it's not only going to shift at a conscious level, but maybe there's some stuff within your body that's going to shift out right now. Maybe there's some emotions that are going to leave because you're ready to let them leave. See, the lunar eclipse, sometimes when we have these, these functions, these little meetings with the universe, <laughs> and we're like... Holy God, like Mercury retrograde. God, we blame Mercury retrograde for like all kinds of stuff, right? We're like, I'm fighting with my boat, Mercury retrograde, right? All these things, and we, yeah. we're like, the freaking eclipse. But what the eclipse was doing was it was being a beautiful mirror for you, and it was showing you your stuff, and it was taking you through a process because yes. everything in the universe is is out for your best interest, and everything that Dove and I do right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. Everything we're about to do is for the highest good. I ask that this vessel in this channel be able to be as precise as possible with you, to commune with you. Okay, so we're just gonna open, we're gonna ground into the grids. If the grids below you are, 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 are messed with in any way, if there's any devices, things that uh, aren't full of beautiful love and light, we just ask you to step aside. We're gonna anchor into some beautiful grids where I can connect with you, you can connect with me. We're going to commune on a, on a beautiful level of transformation. If there's things right now in your body or in your mind or things in your heart and there's brokenness and there's things you haven't been able to heal and there's things that you haven't been able to let go of, you know, right, I heard baby, <laughs> baby, it's time. Mm. It's time. It's okay to let go of what was. It's okay. Right? You're identifying with what was because it has been with you for so long and that's all you know and it's okay, baby. You get to let go of it. Yes. But what will be, right? What will be? What will I be? What will I be if I don't identify with those things? Mm -hmm. And the universe is like, oh my God, you get to be all things. You get to connect to the most high. You get to connect and have a reserve connection of anything that you'd like. It's infinite. You have infinite possibilities at this moment. You are all being integrated and upgraded and initiated into your inner leader. Right now, you are, your leader's coming out. Right? We're always looking for a hero, right? We're always looking for a guru. We're always looking for a video. We're always looking for someone to save our asses, right? And right now, the universe is like, boo. You're your savior. You are your hero, right? You are that. You are your leader. And Dove said it perfectly. She was like, it's time to get put back on your throne. And I'm not talking about the toilet, although I'm sure some of you have been purging, so that might have been part of your process at this moment. But I'm talking about your crown, putting on the essence of this glorious being that you are, mm -hmm. right? This is the year of abundance, Right? To be able to breathe in that flow, be able to sit in that flow, be able to rock out in your essence, be able to be weird AF, being able to be eccentric, being able to be empathic and not looking at it as a curse, being able to shine your big bright light, being able to say all the things that you wanted to say, being able to show up for yourself and show up for your kids and show up for your boo and show up to the fucking world that's been waiting for you. 
the world is like waiting by the door, right? They're like standing by the door and they're holding on and they're like, just please knock. Knock and open the door. I want to see you, right? I want to see you. So I just want to clear any parts of you that are so afraid to open your door. So afraid. We, we were at my birthday party and I had all these people and we were talking about how some of us like, you know, are in the closet in certain ways. Spiritual closets, twin flame closets. People don't know exactly what's going on. And this is the year to like jump out of your closet. Jump out naked. Ah, just jump out of the closet. And it doesn't mean you have to jump out naked, but allow yourself to be you. Yeah. Here's the thing. When we are ourselves, you're going to do two things, right? You're going to attract that vibration that is you. Yes. And some people, maybe they're not going to vibe when you jump out of the closet. And that's okay. Because what happens is when the universe shifts certain things, right? It leaves room for more things and more things that are you. The more you are you, the more the universe is going to bring things that are you. Reflect you. Show you you. Yes. Love you. Like you need to be loved. Giving you all those things. Mm. You want to hop in, beautiful man? <laughs> I can feel all of your energy, and it's amazing. And as you guys are hearing this, understanding that this is all shifting within you, right? You're in this space, and you're allowing yourself. Some of you said, I want to cry. You're moving. There's a lot of energy moving in your space, and you're feeling all these things because they're releasing. They're releasing because they're coming into your conscious awareness. Yeah. And so you want to go into the how. How am I going to shift it? How am I going to you know do that? And there might be some more action steps that need to be taken. But even the awareness of what's going on, whatever's coming up in you, start to be present with what's coming up with you in this moment, right? What's coming into your space? So over the last few days, things were coming into my space, right? Nicole and I needed to work really deep today because we don't only work for ourselves. We don't only work on our own wounds. We work on the wounds that are coming up collectively because we choose to hold this platform to be with you guys and to be with our clients and to be with our community members and, and, and. And so we have a link to the energies of what's going on, right? And so we're feeling creating that transformation. And right now you guys are creating that transformation as well. And so over the last few days, I had to ask myself, so what am I feeling? Which parts are mine? What's going on for me? What's coming up for me that's allowing me to feel past stuff that needs to be freed, old stuff, right? And if you're saying like, oh, Devin, Nicole, you've done so much work. How do you have anything left to do, right? The thing is that we have eons of stuff, all of us. And so it's okay. So I want you to also remove any judgment around... I have to loop back around to the story. Okay, do you have to loop back around to that story? You have to loop back around to that pain? You have, if it is not fully resolved, allow yourself to loop back as many times as you need to without creating a story, mm. right? And when Nicole was talking about being able to actually be your teacher, be your, your, your light, right? You are your light, and at the same time, I'm gonna tell you, you don't have to do it alone. That's why we're sitting in the space together. Yes. Right? And so it's this beautiful interchange of being able to be guided and also being able to lean into the trust in the self be able to be in that space and one thing i'm hearing for one of you guys out there or many of you guys out there is that you will be okay in that space right so when you when you want to anchor when i was thinking about anchoring you down into your body anchoring you down to be present with yourself anchoring you down into your feelings all of a sudden a lot of you were like oh i can't go there that's not safe that's not good i don't like it there Mm. Right? And so I just want all this energy here super, super bottled up. And so some of you guys are feeling maybe some chest tightening, some throat issues, right? Feeling all that tightness here because we were talking about being in that expression of self. And for some of you that feels like, oh, I can't do that. I don't even know what that is. <sighs> and their story, right? And so we're going to ask to just allow this flow of energy. So this really nice, imagine this cyclical flow of light energy, right? And it's like turning the machine on. And letting the energy just sort of spiral through. And we're just going to go ahead and ask your inner saboteur, your ego, yes. right, your protector, because you're safe, to just have a seat. Right? While we're sitting in this video, we're going to have them take a seat. Right? And so if you're wanting to, you know, not listen, if you're wanting to be distracted, if you're wanting to, you know, go on a, a different point, if you're wanting to not be with yourself, Right? Especially in this eclipse energy. It's not even about right now in this video. Letting that energy just take a seat. Just sit down and move away so that you can be in this flow of energy. Right? And you feel that now so you can be in your higher self. No story about, am I good enough? Am I not good enough? Did I do good? Am I doing right? Am I not doing right? All those things can just dissipate and move out of the space yes. right now. So that you can 
not get in the way, right? You are not creating that shadow for yourself. I love you guys so much. Yeah, and some of you guys were saying, yeah, we are really cold down here in Florida right now. It's really weird. So I'm freezing. Sorry. And I've got my hat on. And, it got um, into the 40s and we were like, what? Yeah. Burr. I'm freezing. So I my love, blood is thin right I now. I love it though. I love it. Yes, and a lot of you guys are tired. Tired. Yes. I get it. Tired. So it's like bone level tired. Right? And some of you guys said you're soul level tired. And mm. I get it, right? And soul level tired, it sometimes needs a hand. Yes. Right? When I was soul level tired, I definitely needed a hand. When Nicole was soul level tired, she definitely needed a hand. We definitely needed a mentor at that time. We definitely needed people to, because when we get that tired, right, it helps to have somebody hold you up with them so that you can reconnect, you can reconnect yourself to that light, to that remembering. And I want to say to you that if you are in that place, right now I'm very physical body tired. Right? A lot of energy moves through my body right now, so I'm tired physically. But when you are soul level tired, I want to at least tell you that it is absolutely something that you can shift. It's absolutely something. You guys, there is nothing that's going on right now. If you're scanning your, your view of your life, there is mm. nothing that you cannot change. There is nothing that you cannot overcome. Somebody sent me an email a couple days ago, and, and they, they gave me an opportunity. It was such a beautiful opportunity to remind them that something I'm so excited about in my mission, which is to help you guys see past the illusions, right? The ideas of like, I'm stuck because this is how it is, right? I'm stuck because this is what people in society told me. I'm, this is how it is because, you know, I'm scared about this and I'm scared about that. And, you know, I can't have, you know, a, a loving partner because this is what I was told when I was a kid. And I can't mm. have the money I want because blah, blah, blah. And I can't. And you know what? Part of Nicole and I's mission is to really remind you that that's not true. And we can start dropping those ideas right now. Again, what did I say? This eclipse is asking you to take your throne and go out of your way. Get out of your own way. And so asking yourself, what are those thought forms, those beliefs, those traumas, those experiences that are really stepping in my way right now when I'm trying to step away from myself? And if you can do it on your own, then do it. And if you can do it in this container, then do it. And if you need to grab support for that, then do it. Let yourself get out of that space because you are so beautiful, so infinite, so powerful, so important. And you guys are in it. You're in a detox right now. Think about that, right? So when we have an eclipse like this, it's like you start dumping all this stuff. You start looking at all these things. There's things actually leaving you right now. There's new things coming. It's like this shift is happening. It's like if you were to get off of sugar and wheat and dairy and all of a sudden you start juicing, what happens? You're going to be sick as all heck. You're going to be throwing up sometimes. You have a headache. You are exhausted, right? We're shifting. We're shifting perspective. We're yes. shifting out of the darkness. And so we're just going to, I'm going to dip a little bit back into some clearing work with you because there's a space that, and it's making me really anxious. So it's a space within you that's, uh, it's been distorted for so long for all of us. We're in a year where creation is, um, going to be amplified. Your manifestation and intention is going to be amplified. It's going to, to quicken, right? It's going to quicken. And so what's starting to happen is those yes. things within us that are going to stop us from actually creating what we want to create are starting to come up. And this is coming up for the collective. Because creation energy and sexuality and sex energy and kundalini, all of that is, is, has a lot to do with how we create. It's this really beautiful flow. And in the distortion, when we have sex abuse or when we, we weren't allowed to or we didn't allow ourselves to be in that kind of flow and we have shame and guilt. Mm. Because maybe we gave ourselves away sometimes. Maybe people didn't treat us that good. And maybe some of you were abused by family members. And there's deep sadness, so I'm going to let the sadness just kind of go through me and through you guys. Just, just let go of the sadness, mm -hmm. allow it to be there. For the, it's the collective sadness. Yes. Right? What happens with sexuality is it becomes distorted and it turns into lust. <laughs> Sorry, there's a lot of energy. Mm. Lust. I'm actually going to say it by name. So some of you are going to have a little belly pain right now. You're just going to feel a little something in your gut. Because there's a part of you that's not allowing yourself. And what we do sometimes is we really, we think love sometimes is sex. And so we're calling it in and we're desiring it. And really we're going against self. Many of us have gone against ourselves for a very long time looking for love and putting ourselves in different positions. And so we start to distort in that way. And so let's just clear the guilt and shame. It's okay. Sex is a part of love. Sex is a part of love, right? So when we look at unconditional love frequency, it's up here and it's one, there's a, uh, uh, it was 111 people on the call, right? When I said it, so unconditional love is the highest frequency, 
right? And then there's like, you know, like a little dip in the middle where it's just like this deep, like friendship, love, like I will show up for you. I see you. I see you. And then you have sexuality is sex is there. It's, it's, an, it's an energy, but it's not as high as unconditional love, but it's there. And so what happens is when we distort it, we lose and it drops down really deep into, into places that we don't need to put ourselves. You get to let go of the shame today. You get to let go of the shame and guilt around yes. this. Yes. Whatever happened in your life, you get to let go of it. You don't have to hold on to anyone else's energy. Yes. This is very important. If you did anything or anything happened to you that involved another person, you no longer have to hold their energy in your field. You no longer have to hold their energy in your mind. You no longer have to hold that energy and connect to that person. So we just release the strings. We, there's a bunch of strings mm -hmm. connected to all these people in your life. Abuse, people that have abused you, people that have neglected you, people, and just start to snip all of these cords that connect you emotionally. They connect you in thought and we have connection. Like when we think about certain things, then we dip into certain emotions where we feel like crap. We get to release that right now. You guys get to release that. Just keep releasing. You can even say out loud, that's not mine anymore. Mm, yes. Hashtag that's not mine. Anymore. Hashtag that's not mine anymore. <laughs> right? Sometimes people tell me they're like, but I had no control over that. And they took something from me. Well, baby, they don't get to take it from you anymore. They don't get to take it from you anymore. It's okay. You get to let it go right now. Yes. Right? You get to let it go because as we're letting go of this, what starts to happen is we get to look at things. We get to get back into our power so that we can create the life that we want this year. We get to create that finances that we want this year. We get to get the car, the home, whatever you want, right? Whatever you want to experience, whatever you've been dying to have or just to have, like hold or see or feel that seems intangible. Hmm. It's tangible. Hmm. And you're worthy. I, and you're worthy and you're worthy all those experiences that you had they don't make you less worthy all the difficulties they don't make you less worthy and so coming into that unconditional love that she was talking about being able to actually remove yourself from that right being able to actually remove yourself from the things that create that condition because you're taught that condition so it's easy to go into that space that's where we're taught to go right that's where we're conditioned to be and we want to create stories right and we're conditional we're judgmental with other people because we're judgmental with us I almost got out and did a live with you guys the other day and I wasn't feeling so good, so I decided not to, right? And then Spirit just brought it back to me today, right now, right? And so what was I thinking about? I was thinking about the times that I get nervous about being vulnerable, right? The times that I get a little bit uncomfortable being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Well, why do I ever become uncomfortable? Why do you ever come, become uncomfortable being vulnerable? Because that you know that you will be judged. How do you know that you will be judged? because you judge mm. and you know that judgment is real right so i know that it's there i know that i will be judged because i know that i have judged in my life so i know judgment is real but guess what you can if you choose to right now stop creating judgment around yourself and the moment you stop creating judgment about yourself it creates this miraculous space inside of you that allows for the energy of compassion versus the energy of judgment for any other individual and don't conflate or confuse judgment, right, with boundaries or standards, right? I don't have to let somebody come and like, you know, push my dog off the sofa just because I don't have judgment. But I don't need to create stories about other people because really I'm fearful or I'm in pain. Hmm. So if you've been looking right now, right, so this message is for somebody or many of you. So if you've been looking around and you've been really just judging people and you've been really just finding places to create a criticism, Hey, right? maybe it's a criticism in this video, whatever it is, whatever you're feeling, you're feeling that, that self of you, right? That wants to make a comment or a judgment. I actually want you to stop. I'm going to speak right to you because you're one of the most important people. Yes. Right. And I want you to like grab yourself and just go like, oh, what inside hurts so damn bad? Hmm. Right. What inside hurts so damn bad? Because when we're hurting, we want to create that in other people. Completely. When we're hurting and we're judging ourselves because we have had that experience in our life, we want other people to join us in that and we're in pain. So I don't judge you. Right? I don't judge you. And you deserve to not be in that space. You deserve that love. You deserve that compassion from yourself. And I hope that this moment for some of you will be the beginning of that. Where you stop creating that judgment and you stop creating that story. 
There's a lot of things that are very important to me this year that I'm going to share with you guys and Nicole is going to share with you guys. We're going to kick off the year pretty powerfully on Sunday, this coming Sunday. We yes. have a live Sunday sermon and we're going to be talking about something that's very, very important to me and it's going to be a big part of what we talk about this year, which is that everything begins, everything on this planet, everything in our consciousness begins micro, begins in yes. you. Yes. Begins in you, right? And so another thing that's very important to me is that we're able to look at how we are treating each other. And one of the most amazing ways to see that is how we treat each other online, right? So this is connected to this concept of judgment. Hmm. We see a lot of abuse online. We see a lot of bullying. We see a lot of mistreatment. And the thing is, is that it's because there's no social requirement like laws or just general mores or standards that keep us from behaving the way that we really internally want to behave Online. Yes. So online is actually just our mirror of where we really are as humanity, where we really are, right? So however we're hanging out, out of Dang. the, you know, out of the box, that might not be the truth about where we are. And that we're going to have to take a hard look at that, right? So I don't act differently online. I don't treat people with less respect or dignity than I would to somebody's face. That's not true for a lot of us. And if it isn't true for you, don't create a judgment or a story about yourself. The reason I'm saying it is because there is pain in a lot of us that needs love yes. and attention yes. and correction. And it needs compassion yes. from you. And it needs compassion from others. Because if we hate ourselves, mm. we're not going to care about anything that happens on this planet or with each other. And I'm not going to go any further because I'm going to talk about that on Sunday on our Sunday sermon. And I want to get into that more deeply. But that is why I wanted to give you a taste, just a tiny taste of why something as small as not judging yourself can actually change the world. Can actually change the world and it certainly will change your life. <laughs> I love you. Sorry. Oh, Nicole is so silly. Oh my God. So I want, to, I want to speak to a part of each one of you, right? That just keeps showing up. So, um... The part of us that like during the last couple weeks that felt like you backslid. <laughs> I mean, maybe you did the electric slide, you backslide. There's a parts of us and parts of many people that felt like their your behaviors weren't exactly with, aligned with um, with what you feel you should you should be doing. And I want to speak to that. Yeah. And I want to let you know that the energies were very difficult and not difficult because like life's difficult, but because they were showing us parts of ourself that is difficult to look at. Yes. And so it is okay. Sometimes it is okay to, to listen, whenever we have this kind of energetic mirroring and energetic light, and we're looking at the deepest parts of us, it's not like we're going to walk out of it in the best version of ourselves in the mm -hmm. beginning. To be honest with you, actually, you're going to walk out with the, I remember when Dove and I, like w when we were like maybe mid, you know, the mid decade and I was like, you bring the worst out in me. And I'm like, Oh, and I'm just like, you bring out the worst. I bet. And the thing was, is I learned, I learned, girl. I learned that, yeah, she was showing me the worst in yeah. me. She was letting me see the worst in me. And then we got to look at it and hold space for that part, the parts of me that I really wasn't like, that wasn't me. It's not like it was me. It was parts of me that like I started, I adopted, I did to make myself feel better. I did so that I'd be okay. You know, you pick up drugs, you pick up different behaviors, you shut people out, you push them, you grasp on them. You do all these things because like you're hurt, Dove said it perfectly. You're, we're hurting inside, right? All of us have our impacts throughout yes. our life. You have these impacts yes. from lifetime over lifetime. Yes. You have these impacts and now we're just looking at them. And so it's not that Dove brings out the worst in me and it's not that the Lunar Eclipse brings out the worst in me. It's just showing me the things that are in there. Yes. There's there things right now in you yes. that are like, hey, I want you to see this. Please take a look at this. This isn't you, baby. This isn't you. I want you to look at it because let's get rid of this. Your soul is like, hey, let's just take a look. Yes. So we can open the door and just psh, that part out, yes. right? And we can look at it and we can look at it with no judgment and we can look at it and understand why we did it in the first place and we can honor it and we can yes. say, oh, well, that makes sense why I did that. And give yourself a freaking break. So to that part of you that feels like you backslid or that you went backwards, growth is accumulative. It never goes backwards. 
everything, every code, everything that shifts within your being. I don't care if you forget a little bit. Some of us get amnesic. Some of us will take drugs at times. You guys like will do certain things or you're drinking or you're doing these things where we will actually cause ourselves to forget. We'll cause ourselves not to have a memory where we, because we don't want to deal with the fact that you are completely awakened right now. Sometimes you want to go backwards. You're like, I just want to take everything I know and just give it back. Let me just be normal. And the thing is, is that from the beginning, I said, there's a part of you that's standing up within your being right now. This leader, this friggin' royalty, this hero, this amazing being. And when you stand up like that and like, like psh, pop my chest out, there's no room for some of these other things. The frequency, it's not the same. Some of the stuff that we deal with, our behaviors, the frequencies down here, we're, we're being, we're about to be here. This can't play in this playground. This is not allowed there. Yes. These two can't even see each other. And when we dip here, we start to go into places that it's not yours. That's not your place. That's not your kingdom. That's not your heaven. That's not the throne. That's not that. It's something else. So we're just going to bring a bunch of forgiveness in, right? And actually, to be honest with you, we don't even need to be forgiven because there's nothing, there's no right or wrong. But just for this purpose, bringing in this part of you where you just get to honor yourself and it's, it's okay. Mm. You're okay right now. I'm telling you, you're okay. Wherever you are, you are okay. I'm telling you, you're okay. I have been in places, even in the spiritual walk where I didn't think I'd be able to come out of the house and I was actually really okay. You're doing amazing. I'm watching your breakthroughs. I'm watching your wins. I've been watching your pain. I watch it all. I pray for you, right? Yes. I feel you because wherever you are right now, I've been there. Wherever you are right now, I might be there. Wherever you are right now, I'm definitely going to be there. It's all we go through this whole thing together. Mm -hmm. And you're not alone because everyone's felt or is going to feel what you are going through right now. And you're amazing. You're amazing. Oh my God, you guys are lit. Let me tell you about you. Oh, let me tell you about you, right? You are this beautiful creator. Your mind is so powerful that you get to say what shit is. You get to say what it is. Your perspective is different than mine. You know what's cool about that is I want to see your perspective because some of your stuff, I don't, I don't see it through these eyes. And when you share it, I feel it. And when I feel it, I experience it. And when I experience it, I fall deeper in love with all things because I can feel you. And I know for sure that you guys can feel me. <laughs> you tell me that all the time. Oh my gosh, Nicole has got me laughing a lot today. So that's good. All you guys are feeling it too, right? I love it. I love you guys. I'm seeing so much goodness happening through you guys right now. And you're really seeing it. Some of you guys are calling yourselves out. Yes. Right? You're saying that you are, you're not in a willing place right now. You're not doing what you know you need to be doing. You're running away from yourself or other things in your life right now. Good. Number one step is to ask for willingness. If you are not yes. in a flow where you are taking the steps that you need to take and you are creating stories and excuses and so on. We talked about that in the last video. We're going to talk about it in a Sunday sermon, right? Your excuses, wow. They are such a block to those things we're talking about, about being in this power, in this throne, in your mission, in your expression, in all these things. And so if you are in those places where you're creating a lot of delay for yourself, no judgment again, right? But bringing in the willingness, calling in the willingness to create some change and being in a place where you guys are able to step into the next level of who you are. Mm. So I want to give you guys some homework, which is to ask yourself, how is it that I want to show up this year? And what is it that if I need to know something about myself, what is it that I need to know? And if I know what I want to do, how do I get there? But not the how, like, how am I going to figure out the plan? But what are the steps I can take, right? What are some steps that I feel like I can take to move that forward? I'm smiling. Oh, you were laughing? I thought maybe there was something you wanted to add. No, no, I was laughing because somebody, Jen, it's their first time with us and they're just really Hi, excited. Jen. And I was just seeing all the comments and I was really excited. Oh, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm happy to I'm see you. To I'm happy to see you today too. Anybody that's on for the first time, welcome. I'm really happy. And if this is resonating for you guys too, please feel free to share this video. Tag some people. I saw some of you guys tagging some people in here. You know, letting people hear this message. And like I said, you know, there's a lot in the energy of this year that's really been... Happy birthday, um, Brandy. Happy Birthday. Everyone say happy birthday to Brandy. Cutting yes. hair. We love you. Yes. So happy to see you on your birthday. An amazing being. So happy that you are here um, in this lifetime talking about shining 
light, right? I'm not gonna put you on the spot, but really shining light. And, and really knowing that no matter where you're standing right now, you guys can absolutely get to that place. You're absolutely going to get to that place. You absolutely can get to that place that you can work through those obstacles. You know, it's interesting because Spirit put us on the spot this year, right? And it was really like so much movement. Hey, you've gotta do this. This is part of how you gotta serve and show up in your power this year. Hey, you gotta do this, right? I've talked to you guys about the certification that we're doing, that we're actually training other people who either are or you know are not even yet currently mentors uh, business coaches relationship coaches um, so on and so forth um, healers to actually do some of this core release work that we do and really understand protocols and methods to bring transformation at a higher level and that was what spirit asked us they were like please step into a place where not yes. only that's part of your platform but can you give this to other people yes. you know and it felt so profound to me that the more of us that have tools to align with what you want to do, right? You're also individually gifted. There's so much energy flowing through you, right? And maybe that's not your particular calling. I'm, I'm talking for those who it is their calling. And it's like we Another were asked to take that, take our gifts, share them, right? And that starts this Monday and I'm really excited. And if some of you guys are interested, there are still spots um, to join. So if you want to put in an application for that, I'll put the link above. Um, but it's been amazing. And so one of the things I want to say about that is letting yourself jump right? Letting yourself jump. If you're like, I don't really know how I'll land, just still letting yourself jump into what you know you need. So listening to yourself right now, listening to your gut, listening to your first instinct and jumping and jumping into levels of trust and alignment for you. Yes. Right. And again, like not creating those long stories and those excuses. And if you do, Right? That's okay. But I love that. I still create long stories and excuses, but I have loads of support. So like I'll text somebody and call myself out, right? Oh, I'll lot. get, I'll get whatever, <laughs> well, I'll get whatever advisors that I have on standby to reflect back to me. Nicole is talking about beautiful mirrors, right? Yeah. Let yourself have beautiful mirrors. You're not by yourself. And for those of you who've been putting off, like digging in and doing some super deep dive work, I really invite you to consider that. Right? I really, and it doesn't have to be with us, right? I mean, we do work one-on-one, yeah. -on -one, but I'm really inviting you, if it's kind of been nagging there, if nothing changes, nothing changes. It's like the number one simplicity. Yes. And it's like, so let yourself, do not short yourself. And so I want to actually do the one last thing before we get off with you guys, is I want you to imagine just standing, and for those of you who read The, the Little Prince, it's like the most amazing book, um, imagine yourself standing on a tiny earth and being like kind of a big being, right? Mm. And you're standing there, and there's all this beautiful sunlight behind you. And there's this gorgeous moon in front of you. And you, not the planet, are actually creating the shadow. Right? And you're appreciating that moment of shadow. Yes. Because you're appreciating being able to see yourself. Right? That big shadow that you cast. That big imprint that you have for the space. That big imprint you have for this planet. Because you do. And I don't care if you're like, you know, but Dev and Nicole, I work at, you know, at like a gas station. And I don't ever want to, you know, serve in any capacity. I'm going to tell you what, your imprint is not smaller. No. Your imprint is not smaller. So don't create a story. Stand in that space. Let your imprint be there. And I want you, as we're moving out of this energy of this lunar eclipse, I want you to actually see how you rotate your positioning on the planet so that now the sun is not behind you. It's to the left of you and the moon is to the right of you. And now you're existing in that space with these energies mm. and they're each on either side of you in perfect balance. Letting that masculine and feminine balance in you, letting that light and dark balance within you, mm. letting that power balance with you. And actually the last thing I want to say is be unapologetically and lovingly yourself. Stay with that exercise, see yourself standing in that space and let yourself be who you are. We love you guys so we much. We love you so much. Thank you. I honor you. I just ask that we ground all this beautiful energy. If you can go outside for a little bit, just shake your bodies out. Be be grateful. Say thank you in any way. Whatever you want to say thankful, like thank you for. Um, please do that. Think about the things that you are grateful for right now. And just yes. give yourself a little shimmy. Shake it out. Like I'm going to go move around. I'm going to take this beautiful woman to dinner. Because you deserve a really nice dinner <laughs> with a very attractive woman sitting next to you. Googling at you. Um, oh, she always does a good job every once in a while to um, make me blush. I, love I try guys. so hard. Take good care of yourselves, guys. 
Um, share this message if it resonates for you. If you're brand new here, welcome again. Make sure you subscribe and stay connected so that there's we more stuff more. coming. Join us, all of you. Do not miss this first Sunday sermon. Um, this yes. Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, of course, there will be a replay. But if you can come and sit live for this one, come and sit live. It'll be important. Yes, date night. Whoosh. Love you guys. <laughs> Love you, Freedom. So much. John, Talk bye. To you guys I love soon. you guys. Bye. Bye, guys.